Hello everybody, Stuart here from Studio Gaming. I'm playing with my Psyker today. I um, haven't used him for a long time, so I thought I'd uh, give him another go. Um, I had originally built this character as a support character for a team that I was playing with for quite a long time. Um, so all of my buff type abilities were actually aimed at um, the other people in my party, so they were all directed to somebody else. Now, because of that, a lot of the skill choices I made and everything else were based on that particular um, choice. So, I have and I'm still trying to rearrange all of my skills, all of my abilities, um, so that it makes a bit more sense for a single player character. Now, that being said, I do want to release a build for my support class as well. Um, which I will be doing at some point in the future. Um, I haven't done so far simply because, unfortunately, a lot of the people that I used to uh, game with are in the United States, and because I'm now back at work, I don't actually have the same gaming time that they have. So um, it's it's kind of killed my squad, so to speak. Um, either way, I will be doing it at some point, even if I uh, I have to stay up late or something to record some gameplay so please do look out for that one in the future now what I'm going to do today is I have noticed that I haven't played for, with this guy for so long that I have not done the prophecy campaign at all with this particular character so that is actually what I am going to do um, I am trying to work out exactly what I need to do because it just says gathering storm find the alpha pariah so i'm going to select that particular mission and go for it basically i love the fact they added the cinematic intros rather than just the beams of light coming down all right i now need to remember how to actually play this on this level are you absolutely sure you want to go in alone Yes. I can't allow the Xenos to take the Alpha Pariah. Knowing what I do about her, it could have catastrophic consequences. I don't know why I'm at such high warp heat, I've not really done much so far, but I think this character does actually get improved uh, attack damage when at high warp heat anyway, so you just have to be careful and don't mess about too much. <laughs> Nice. I think those purple patches on the floor are um, actually beneficial. Um, if you guys know, please do let me know because it's been so long I actually can't remember. around that one still got my precognition active as well which is very nice Any um, healing 
inoculators yet because my health hasn't moved. And that is why psychers are so sick in this game. Because they have these abilities to literally ignore all damage for a long period of time. Add some more damage because I think I need it. Hmm. You have reached the main chair of mainframe, good job. I want to see what these constructs have recorded since they were. Teleport beacon in range. There we go. I haven't, I don't actually appear to have any um, diversive tactics or anything. I must admit I have forgotten what perks I've uh, used and I should have checked that out first, but... Either way, let's just have a quick look. So, I have used Psychic Boon, all my buffs are doubled, which is nice. Okay, so if I'm using powers in my over 75% um, warp heat, then I get healed rather than damage, because normally you would take damage, and 75% damage burn is in unhinged warp state. Okay, so yeah, the higher my warp heat, the more damage I'm doing, so... I thought that was the case, but I couldn't quite remember. Yes, activate the turrets. Wall, nice. Excellent. And as you can see, this is exactly why I um, say that uh, Psychers are the most powerful character in this game. Um, as tanks, they're actually probably better than Crusaders, simply because they've got these buffs which make them take no damage whatsoever. I mean, one of my buffs is still active from the first time I applied it. And that's the one which um, basically I've got 180 seconds worth. And let's let's just check it. Let's see what it says about it. Death augury, protective ward that remains active until triggered by an attack that would kill the character. It averts the death blow, heals the character to 50%, and 50% suppression resistance does not stack. Adds 20 war heat upon casting. Well, that warp heat's gone already, but then precognition, 100% damage reduction for 60 seconds. Each hit suffered reduces the duration. Well, I've still got 154 seconds of that, and I can cast it again already. So I can literally keep that going indefinitely. Which is just ridiculous, if you consider. Right, skip that cutscene. Goodbye.
because each, each hit, no matter how much damage it does, only takes five seconds off that precognition. So that, to me, is completely broken. It should, it should half damage for the duration and remove five seconds, not completely ignore damage, especially as I've already just cast it again. And bearing in mind this also um, deals with the uh, negative warp effect. So every time they hit you, they remove five seconds and nothing else. So if you combine the the actual um, mastery, which gives 50% extra duration, and then you also have that one which... Um, oh, I don't want to do that, I don't think. Keep forgetting about my fiery aura, because that's even more damage. And it increases the damage of my main abilities, and I completely forgot about it. So he hit me, but I've still got 172 seconds left. It's absolutely crazy. So, at the moment, I am pretty much unbeatable. I, I cannot be killed. Um, which is a little bit ridiculous, because if I was to be using the teleportation... Um, if I was to use the teleportation armor, rather than this one, then I could literally just nip right into the center of a big group and take no damage whatsoever which is a little bit ridiculous did you see what i did to those elder did i see it i felt it tearing my soul into shreds why have you come back for me i only left the martyr because i had no choice but the machine spirit reached out to me it is still protecting you and what if I want to? Are you not even curious? That's all I. It was a the machine spirit reached out. Um. I don't know. Before we arrived here, there was a period of madness and nightmares. He was battling demons on the ship. Then he was gone. Or it was just a mad dream. But he is still gone. Ah, so I had gone the uh, radical route with this character. Right, I will go back to the ship and we can see exactly what I did get, although I do have a feeling that it was nothing important, but we will see. Relieved to know that I have completed my mission without your assistance. We expected Brilliant. However, I demand that you You demand nothing. There we go. Right. That's uh, that's going to be it for this. Let's just have a look at what I actually managed to collect. So I've got my Empyrean Armour, which does have... I think that's the Time Warp, yep. So I can use that one. Um, the only problem with using that one, of course, is it does remove one of my abilities when I'm using my Warp Rods. Um, I think they are Warp Rods. I can't actually remember what I'm using. Force Rods, sorry. There we go, Force Rods. Um... Okay, that force rod's quite nice ability. So yes, um, nothing really that good. I am looking, obviously, for some warp-bound armor that is uh, a relic. That would be extremely useful. Um, that is basically my next thing that I need to get hold of. And once I do, I'll be in a much better position, I I believe. Okay. But yes, um, not a bad, not a bad um, run. I think I could probably do higher difficulty. That was a plus one hard difficulty mission. Um, I think with that precognition and everything else, I think I could run ridiculously high 
difficulty missions. Um, in fact, it would be interesting to see how this character does in the Unholy Cathedral, which I might actually do for my next video, um, because I've still got no news on when Prophecy is releasing. Not Prophecy. Season of the Inferno is releasing, um, so realistically I've only got Let's Plays to do, um, and obviously level my characters up for build guides, but I can do that in the background and just try and do a bit more variety for the characters that I'm using, so anyone who likes any of the classes has something to, uh, to watch. Right. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please make sure you do click the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and also please click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload next. If you want to support the channel more, please visit my Patreon page, the address is down below. And leave me a comment on this video, let me know what you think, let me know what you want to see in the future. Well guys, thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You all take care, bye for now.